Hi, my name is Keith Cooper and this is a new printer that I'm going to be testing. It's an Epson P7500. Now I reviewed the P7000 and the P5000 a few years ago and 7000 is excellent as is the 5000. The 7500 here is a, an updated version. This is a 24 inch printer so it takes big paper. Uh, large sheets, it will take roll paper up to 24 inch width. So I'm going to be doing lots of big prints. I'm going to be looking at how you prepare images for big prints and what things you have to think about differently when you're making big prints to making small prints. And in small prints I'm talking A3, A3 plus size, 13 by 19. This is for big prints. Now, a few quick pointers to it. This uh, particular printer is one that Epson uh, UK have loaned me for, for a while. Um, I've got it here for a few weeks. Uh, Karen will be grateful for that since it is huge. Um, differences between this and earlier versions are the paper feed for sheet feed, and this works for any size from A4 up to A2, 24 inch by 36 inch, is a simple slot at the top. You just drop a sheet of paper in like that, line it up, goes through. It's a straight through print path. So you can actually see the print being here. There's this window here. Ink cartridges, there are 12 ink cartridges. Now, unlike earlier Epson printers, this one has no black ink swap. So it has PK, photo black ink, and matte black ink permanently engaged. And it has a whole range of other inks in it. Now, looking at what we've got here, the ink set's not that dissimilar to the earlier printers, but certainly is more advanced than something you get on like a P900 or something like that. I've got a, you know, the normal cyan, magenta, yellow and versions of it. I've got three greys. So I've got black, uh, grey and a light grey. But, and this is where I'll be seeing whether it makes any difference for uh, photo printing. This particular printer has the violet ink as well. It also has green and orange ink. Now the green and orange ink I know makes a difference for printing some pictures. I produced some really nice sunset pictures of using the P7000 when I had it here a few years ago. I don't expect it to be any different. Um, I'm not expecting massive differences. Uh, this sort of printer is one that you get if you're serious about printing. I'm serious about printing. I love making big prints. So I'm thanking Epson for lending me this one here, bigger than my normal printer. I have had big printers here in the past, but this one is so uh, large enough that it was tricky getting into the house. Anyway, apart from, you know, just a few uh, guides to this, I'm not gonna go into any detail. Um, roll paper loaded at the top here. It's a spindle system, takes two inch, three inch spindles. Uh, you load them up, you put them in. I'll be covering that in detail anyway. But uh, this one has arrived this morning. It's resting. Um, the reason it's resting is because printers like this do not like being moved. This one needed tipping on its end to get into the house, get it around the doorways. So this one, I've done some nozzle checks. I've got a good nozzle check on it. I like to leave them to settle overnight before doing any testing, any profiling. So I'm going to be making paper profiles, testing different types of papers. But if you've got any questions, either email me at Northlight Images or leave comments here with the video. Uh, this is just really a sort of trailer for stuff I'm going to be doing. So I'm going to be looking at black and white, colour. Uh, who knows, I might even try a bit of canvas through it and things like that. But this is what I call a real printer. Um, I'm looking forward to making some interesting prints from it. So please let me know what you think. And um, I've got it here for a few weeks. Uh, so I will be producing some uh, different videos about different aspects of it. Oh, and I also had a new macro lens turn up to test from Lauer, the one they just announced. So I may be trying to take some pictures, macro pictures, and then uh, print them out on this. Going to be a lot of large prints. But anyway, there you go. Uh, just a sort of quick trail of the fact that I have the printer here. And, um, well, looking forward to trying it. So please do subscribe to the channel if you find it of help. Um, appreciate that. Ask questions, whatever. Thanks very much.